Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We've got a surprise solar storm event unfolding, way more than what it should have been. We're also going to see a mystery star and peak at True Polar Wander. We've got a unique event to announce at the ranch in two months, but we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Flaring and eruptive activity is still low despite the presence of large sunspots, but the solar wind has been worked by the massive coronal holes. Yesterday, we said to expect more amplifications in the solar wind, and oh boy did we get it in the overnight hours. Here's the solar wind data for the last three days, and I want you to look at the purple and green lines down at the bottom. That's plasma speed and temperature, respectively. Both jump up during coronal hole stream impacts, and yesterday we showed the first hump in the morning news, but the second one began about 10 hours ago. While NOAA forecast a level 1 solar storm, it hit level 3, almost KP7, and that's about 100 times more of a disturbance than they expected. Folks, this event hitting level 3 is another sign of the magnetic pole shift. A good comparison would be Mike Tyson getting knocked out by a 12-year-old. Maybe in that case, Tyson has fallen from his previous peak, right? Yeah. Back to that momentarily, but the sunspots on the disk have some size to them. Nothing scary, however, when it comes to magnetism. The large group on the north actually looks like the large umbra are all positive with negative periphery only. Hard to flare when that's the case. And the southern group is pretty well divided front to back with a negative lead. If those stability points don't change, they're not going to flare when we've got eyes on them. Up next, we're getting some eye candy after a multi-mission tag team has shown a radio transient is actually also flashing an X-rays. That's not supposed to happen. It's never been seen before, and they're not exactly sure what kind of star that actually is. Chandra's data showing the X-rays caused the mystery to be revealed, and now they just have to figure out what is actually happening out there. Now, our top story today is actually bad science, but it's the implication that caught me. True polar wander, the actual geographic tilt of Earth rather than the shifting magnetic poles we so often discuss. Now, they are blaming water impoundment in dams for what they're seeing, but there has been thrice the water change in ice melt and isostatic readjustment and river flows. Can't blame those things here. It's just bad science. The slight tilt of the geographic pole towards the Americas runs opposite of the North Magnetic Pole movement. We're diving deeper on this topic and background here offline today. Folks, about 30% of the entire viewership said yes to this, a dating event where you find another observer, someone else who knows what's coming, someone who's a prepper. All details for the event two months from now at the link below. And yes, we will control gender imbalances. If we're getting too many men or women, we'll pause registration for that one until the other catches up. Remember, self-sufficient doesn't mean solo. And don't forget, everything you're going to need to know is being delivered at the ranch several times this season. Pole shift conference, special prepping days, lots of great reasons to come out and see us. ObserverRanch.com. Check the event page. Book your stay. All key links are below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.